Hi everyone, I'm so blessed. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you guys my super cute fairy tale eggplant. Isn't it adorable? Yes, guys, I got about two in here. We're gonna see how long we, we can keep two in here, but um, yeah, you see the white flies are already after these. But um, these have been in here for a little while since they were transplants. I got them in a grow bag because I think this is probably the best kind of container for me at this time. I can roll it up and roll it down. These little bad boys, they like sun when they start to mature, but when they're very small plants, they, they don't like the sun that much. Maybe a little morning sun. But in this grow bag, I can just grab the handles, pick it up, and move it around as I need to. But like I said, this is the fairy tale eggplant. It only gets to be about two to four inches long and about one to two inches in diameter. And as you can see, at, as it gets to be a little bit more glossy, a little bit more bigger, it'll be ready to uh, harvest. But um, don't let it get too big, guys. You can tell when it's getting too mature because um, it'll start to lose its shine and look a little dull. When it starts to look a little dull, then it starts to get bitter in flavor and you probably won't want to eat that. So if it's glossy and shiny, yeah, that's good to go. But dull, mm-mm, that means bitter. Okay, so what you saw me here do was some, um, I added some more compost to it because this is how I choose to feed my eggplants. Um, I use the cow manure compost and I'm just adding more to it because um, I disturbed the soil in there a little bit just to make sure it doesn't get compacted. But the, um, the grow bags do lose um, a lot of the water and the fertilizers. So you got to continuously feed these bad boys because they do like to eat. So I also like to put a little bit of um, coffee grounds into the soil. Um, because they love nitrogen believe it or not they love nitrogen and um, right here what you see me um, holding is a I put some coffee grounds in here and some water in it so I just shake it up and make it a little it's a weak weak coffee and I didn't brew it I just used some of my reuse some of the coffee grounds that I had this morning put some water in there and just kind of shake it up it's been sitting for a little while maybe an hour or two it doesn't take much because like I said I put coffee grounds in the soil anyway but um yeah I just fertilize it with that it's got the compost in there it's getting plenty of nitrogen so these should be ready to harvest in a couple of weeks as you can see I got some more blooms coming on there so um make sure you do continuously harvest these so that you can continue to let it produce um, so you don't want to slow down your production when they get about one to two inches in diameter about two to four inches long um, and they got that shiny coat to them it's time to harvest these guys you know you can actually harvest them when they're smaller they're just going to be nice and tender that'd be good to throw in a sheet pan for and you know if you're going to roast some vegetables or something like that sure why not you got more coming see the blooms we're hoping for more production one thing i did learn about these guys is when you're going to harvest them don't harvest them so close to the cap that's the green part that goes over the top of the eggplant harvest them the, this where the um where they meet the stem of the plant. Harvest them right there. That's that's the best place to harvest them, close to the stem. I've got another little miniature eggplant here. I think this one's called a uh, Black Beauty. That's what it's called. I couldn't think of that for a second. I don't know why, but that's, that's a common one. Got a few of those plants here in the container garden as well. Looking forward to see them mature. I mentioned earlier that um, I like to add nitrogen here and I, here I am again and this one looks a little bit more stronger I don't know <laughs> I guess I put more coffee grounds in it but they love this acidic soil guys so that's why I'm using the coffee and water um, concoction if you will uh, as a fertilizer and, and that's gonna give it that nitrogen boost that it so enjoys 
Okay, guys, so, um, yeah, be careful with the containers that you use. They need to be well-drained because it likes more soil, but it doesn't like soggy soil. Yep, and so I'm going to leave you guys with that, and I want to say happy gardening, and I am going to see you guys in the next video. Take care, keep harvesting, keep planting.